Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 127, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And uh, normally I publish six episodes a week. We are running seven because it took a little bit long. I'm Okay, I took a little too long gathering the defenses and, and recruiting people, and, and I probably could have done that a lot quicker than I did. But that's the way it goes sometimes, and, and so we ended up with a whole 30-minute episode of gathering people, setting up defenses, and then the actual battle. I finally get a chance to talk to Jedi Master Windbag, who is the grumpiest, frumpiest master of everybody that we've run across. Like, like uh, which which one which one of the Muppets was it that um, that that was always was that Walter? Uh, which which one was it? He used to sit in the movie balcony. Anyway, he reminds me of him. I had a little too much Henson influence in my youth, which is apparently on Disney Plus now. But that's a that's a whole nother thing. So uh, let's uh, let's do our big long conversation, and maybe maybe we'll actually get some answers because th this is the. Uh, <laughs> I, I wish I could remember the name. Oh, that's going to bother me. I'm probably going to remember as soon as the live stream ends. But, you know, oh well. All right, so let's start Let's start at the top. Let, let's do, I really do want to cherry pick, but... Um, okay, I am going to cherry pick. Why did you cast me out of the order? Because you defied the council and followed Revan to war. And from that war came another. Do you know how many worlds were destroyed in those wars? Dantooine, Tilo, Sirocco. Do you yeah, see now why we counseled caution instead no. of action? You Actually, no. To come back and face judgment. But that was because you had lost your connection to the Force. Another wait, wait, casualty. wait. That was a casualty of the war? No doubt you still blame us for your exile. I had hoped your isolation would hmm. give you time to reflect on what had happened, what you had done. But I see it is not. You have more questions for me? Where are all the Jedi? There are a few of us left. There's always few but people I left. I don't know if the others still live. We may be the last. We've been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. And where are these other Jedi? We have chosen to hide our presences from each other. Uh, so that the discovery of one will of course. endanger the others. Uh, but how can you contact each other? We cannot. <sighs> we have resolved okay. not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even as our numbers thin, there is still no trace of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver them. <laughs> By letting them see how this themselves out. victorious, we thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. Uh, I've already met... Nar Shada. Why would he go there? Uh, he was looking for the bounty hunters attacking the Jedi. It is good that you bring word of him, but you must not speak of it to others. Like, like what? Like I'm standing on the corner going, Jedi Hey, do you know that Jedi danger. Mount? Are you kidding me? Um, There must be a way to assemble all we the can't. Jedi. We have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even what you're going to do from hiding? Thin, there is still no trace of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver them by letting them believe themselves victorious. We thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. And what then? Then all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. Hmm. From here we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far they remain in hiding. And Jedi continue to vanish and die. I'm noticing. All right. Uh, we've already talked about the master from Nar Shadda. You have more questions for me? I have a lot of more questions. What happened to the Jedi? We are at war, but it is unlike any war we have fought before. We have yet to even meet our attackers in battle. Somehow our enemy is targeting us through the Force, striking, then retreating to the shadows. The gathering yeah, of any Jedi a... seems to attract them like a beacon. Hmm. 
So it was necessary to divide our forces and conceal ourselves for a time until we could learn more of this. Threat. I don't think that's how the force works, but okay. Like on Qatar? How did you know of Qatar? <laughs> Few knew it You'd be surprised what I've learned over the last uh, little while. But yes, Qatar was one such place. Now the planet is no more. Master Zar, Master Dorak, and many more perished there. And we do not know why. But they weren't named in books, so they're not All important. All life on the planet ceased to exist. I was not on Qatar when it was destroyed, but now that it is dead... It really? Is left, Everybody on Qatar died? Dead. I wasn't there when it was destroyed. It was Qatar that the few of us left realized that wherever we gathered, <laughs> we were placing others in danger, not just Jedi. All right, so why did you come to Dantooine? Great tragedies, old battlegrounds, places of suffering, all leave wounds on And this the is galaxy. where you find at Knights of the Old and Republic the 1? Force. In such places, the deaths of so many echo. So much so that it is difficult to center oneself. By coming here, those echoes serve to mask my presence, allowing me to investigate the ruins and try to find some clues yeah, how's that working out as to for you? who our attackers are. But if you can mask your presence here, couldn't the other Jedi? That is a good question. The Mira Luka world of Qatar taught us a terrible lesson. Many Jedi gathered there in an attempt to use the Force to find the location of the enemy. Now the planet is no more. Master Zar, Master yeah, okay. Dorak. You, you already mentioned them. There, and we do not know why or how. But all life on the planet ceased to exist. I was not on Qatar when I was destroyed, but Thank now you. that it is dead, it has left its echo. Sir, repeats yourself. Could you move on to the next after subject? Qatar that the few of us left realized that wherever we gathered, we were placing others in danger, not just Jedi. All right. Uh, let's see what yeah, else we can get without, you know, overlapping information. We got, where are all the Jedi? What happened? Why are you hiding? I think we already got the answer to that. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I... Is it that he needs to understand fully, or he needs to hear the sound of his own voice? Because th this is one of the few characters from the first Knights of the Old Republic game that gets a chance to, that, that you see again in this one. And he was one of the three Jedi Masters that was here on Dantooine. And he was this insufferable and long-winded and repetitive and long-winded and repetitive. Um... <laughs> okay, I'll take both. Both is an answer. Um, I need to know why you cast me out of the order. No, I already asked that one. I started off with that. Why did you cut me off from the force? We did nothing to you. Yeah. Accuse us if you will, but it will not change the truth. Cutting one off from the force. Such punishments are reserved for only a few. Hmm. Although oh. it was within our we power, could have done we it, did but we didn't. A loss upon you. Your loss was a casualty of war. No more. Okay, then what happened to me? Perhaps that is a question you should ask yourself. It is not something I okay. can help you with, even if I wanted to. No. Oh, okay. But I've reestablished my Perhaps connection. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the council judgment. So you feel nothing. Coruscant, so long ago. I mean, obviously you Still, feel nothing. You and your connections were often a subject of debate in the council. <laughs> it is possible that returning to known space... Uh, maybe not a typical old person, but uh, the force this guy, this is definitely a character with him. Me. Like, they nailed his character again. Even though it was a different company making this game than the one that made the last one. All right. Uh, at the end of my trial, you and the other masters said something had happened to me. What was it? You have seen the end of your trial. Perhaps you would like to explain how you came to this. I much. wouldn't explain it to you, even if I could. Which I could, but I won't. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> uh, I heard it in the hollow transcription, or it doesn't matter. No, I'll be up front. One of us needs to be up front. That was intended only for the Jedi Council. Hmm. 
If what remains of the Council chooses to tell you, then I will abide by their decision and its consequences. Ooh, do I have a high enough persuade to go up against the Master Windbag? Let's try it. There is little I can oh, tell you. Oh, hey! Master Kavar felt something had happened to you in the war, but all he had was suspicions, not truths. Okay. And Kavar was too close to you in any event. He too. Yeah. Felt he should be more distant, like you. Took to battle more than a Jedi should. His speculations would not help you now, but enough of this. And his knowledge for the council. So wait a second. I successfully persuaded you, and you didn't tell you me anything. For me? Nothing useful. Ah. Uh. Uh, do you know of force bonds and how to end them? Force bonds? Yes. It is the bond that grows between master and student. Are you saying... But which is the master and which is the another? student? <laughs> yes, and the connection but is lethal. Force bonds normally grant strength to both, but not to such a degree. Are you well, okay. I was told by an unreliable narrator that severing the bond would kill us. Your ability to form such connections, to influence others, was always a subject of discussion, even when you were a student here. Perhaps <laughs> it is a punishment of a sort. But a bond that ties two lives together, such bonds do not seem natural to me. And with I'm your noticing. loss of connection to the Force, it seems such a connection would be impossible. Uh... But I've reestablished my connection. Dantooine, oh, but I fine. Feel such from you. Oh, I Jedi Master Repetitive. Continue. On Coruscant, so long ago. <laughs> Still, you and your connection. Right. It is um, possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the force Oh, hey, we to get to a new answer. You, again. you have more questions for me? All right. Uh, the Sith have... Oh, they have. Okay. I don't know that I've noticed that, but okay. Have they? I've seen no <laughs> evidence of them upon Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. Uh, they exist. They've already attacked me. Why would okay. they attack you? There were no Jedi. You cannot feel yeah, the Yeah, thank you for that. I've noticed. I don't know, but they believe me to Jedi, but I've reestablished. Now, let's go with I don't know. They believe me to be a Jedi. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious oh, as you. to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have yeah. struck, and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dentween. And from there, we may decide what can be All done. All right, so I found everybody else. For me? Uh... All right, that seems to be everything, then. Oh. I suppose there is something I should show you. It will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. <laughs> I'm not sure if this lesson will be to your liking. This is Neiman, a lightsaber form of balance, which contradicts the recklessness that you have so often exhibited. Using could, this could you teach me something no without lecturing me? Also, also, it really looks like you're gripping the blade, which would not be, which would be a useful technique for real swords, but not for, uh, you know, lightsabers. Hmm. I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine. All right, cranky old man. Items received. Short lightsaber and a journal entry. Yeah, the force protects him. And his hard head. All right, you spoke to Master Vruk on Dantooine. He agreed to meet you at the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine when you have united all the Masters. And the Civil War in Andoran has ended. It's still too volatile for Greedy to establish a market there, but perhaps she could trade with the Mandalorians on Dixon. Situation in Dantooine is stabilized. Greedy should be able to open a market there. So, I should go see Greedy. Greedy. Gita. I keep wanting to put an R in there. So I should return to Gita and tell her of these developments. Uh, for some reason, I got... An extra short lightsaber. Okay. So. 
that leaves us, uh... Alright, she is the one that I need to talk to to kickstart the end. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Uh, you know what? Nope, nope, nope. I didn't mean to leave. I mean, I did right up until I didn't, but... I wonder... Who, who survived, and, uh... Is there anything else I can do here? And are people gonna... Are you gonna talk to me now? They say the Jedi saved us from the mercenaries. I guess I should stop blaming them for the troubles on Dantooine. Yeah, exactly. Because you were saved by a bunch of Jedi. Nope. Still locked. Huh. I'm miraculously, uh... A miraculously empty midbay. Huh. Funny that. Alright, that's empty, that's empty, that's empty, that's empty. So other than some private doors, I wonder if we'll ever get back to those. That might happen. I should probably, oh, okay, so there are, there are remains to be looted. A force focusing visor. Uh, what does a force focusing visor do? Charisma, wisdom, regen, force point. Ooh, charisma one, wisdom four? Okay, ooh. So I'd give up a defense bonus of three. Although I'd get back to defense because I've got that special ability that adds my wisdom modifier to my defense. So an extra plus four in wisdom would give me an extra plus two in defense. So I'd lose one defense and a little bit off the damage resistance to electrical energy and ion, but... I would get a bump to Charisma. The Wisdom's going to help more than just my defense. It's also going to help the uh, saves for my Force Powers, how many points I get, and I'm going to regenerate Force Points faster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's totally happening. Um, oh, she's already got one of those, too. Uh, I, oh, I've already had one of those Meditation Bands. All right, I might have to play around with equipment after the stream. Let me just take a uh, a quick tour around here while well, I got a couple minutes I left. I saw you fighting the mercenaries. Just amazing. I wish I were a Jedi too. We could fix that. I saw you fighting the mercenaries. Just amazing. I wish I were a Jedi too. We can fix that. I saw you fighting the mercenaries. Seriously. Just Thanks for your help with the mercenaries. I hope someday I'll be able to return the favor. Money helps. Yeah. Okay. Or not. You are always welcome here, Jedi. Alright, well at least people are uh being a little bit friendlier about the whole Jedi thing. Uh what about you, good sir? Saron was right about the mercenaries okay. all along. I guess my ego clouded my judgment as to what's best for Kuna. Oh, our uh arms merchant is no longer there. That's a shame. Well, I've already bought everything I could from him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm starting to notice a trend. And that led back outside. And this was locked. Since I know, I know things are going to take us back to Dantooine before long. Uh, I wonder... No, I've already been down that way. I just needed to go this way. I heard what you did for us. Thank you. Oh, nice. We got militia. I'll be glad to return to my farm and retire my blaster for good now. Oh, good. You survived. They say the Jedi saved us from the mercenaries. I guess we should stop blaming them for the troubles. Yeah, I guess you should. Um. So who else survived? Because we took some losses. Militia... 
was my shot. You say that now. Oh, you gonna? That was some intense fighting. I'm glad we both made it through, and the mercenaries didn't. That actually reminds me. Are there any? Are there any of those landmines left? Ooh, and I wonder, is there anything at the mercenary camp? That, that is actually a very good question. Because, uh... Yeah. There, there's nothing mentioned anywhere else. But, I wonder... Is, uh... There's no Dana on Wizul. Hey, how's it going? I wonder... If there's, uh... If there's anything... Oh. Did you not join the militia? I thought you were going to join again, the militia. Huh? I don't know what more I can say to you. But it's nice to see you again, regardless. Oh. Okay, you got nothing new. He's probably got nothing new. Hmm. I heard you were responsible for driving the mercenaries off this rock. That's good. Dantooine was getting too crowded for my tastes. I still got give some me a Jedi junk left to sell. You buying? Well, certainly. Take your time. Look through the pile. All right. Well, I'm probably gonna play just a couple more minutes, and then uh, and then I'll send this crowd your way. How about that? Alright, let's see. What um Alright, I'll take that guy. And um hmm. It's okay. I, I, I'm probably got about five-ish more minutes because I do I do need to head over to Narshada to tie up one last little questicle, and uh, I'll probably uh, I'll probably yeah I'll, I'll finish that up, and that gives me a place where there's a crafting table nearby that I can start moving my crew around and uh, get them geared up for the last leg. Because now that we've finished finding all the Jedi Masters. <laughs> no, no harassment. Oh, nothing to this. Ah, oh, come on. Y you mean the mercenaries didn't leave one bit of thing to salvage? Like, surely somebody left their second favorite blaster around or, you know, something. <laughs> uh... Since, since nobody else can see that right now, uh, I, I do try to keep that off my chat on the live stream. I, I try to keep it a little more family friendly. I, I know I get a little more, uh, a little more free during our D and D matches, but uh, not 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 for this. All right, because I think. Uh, No, I I know there's there there's plenty of them and just uh, I I know that with uh, especially with Minecraft and some of the other games that I play, um, that uh, it tends to to attract a a broader range. Two hundred and thirty-three bucks. Why, yes, please. Oh, hey, they you survived. The militia. Those mercenaries were pushovers. Yeah, they're pushovers because you had help. Uh, any other remains? Oh, hey, my merchant buddy here survived too. Ah, it's the war hero. <laughs> yeah, this has been a fun game. Except I don't I don't think there's anything I need from you. Um Droid fighting upgrade. Eh. 
Yeah, it is, it is pretty funny. Yeah, no. I, I've already, all my droids get better gear than what he's offering. Those mercenaries were pushovers. <laughs> Guess there aren't any more remains to loot out here. All right, uh, let me head over to Narshada and then uh, wrap up. Wrap up the the last little quest before before we begin the big, the final the final chain of events. I refuse to do the final countdown joke a third time. Oh update. come on, guys! Seriously? Let us proceed to facilitate How many times are you guys gonna try this? And bring about the termination of hostilities. Oh, for serious. <laughs> that was over too quick. I remember when those guys were difficult. I mean, I guess technically this gives me uh, some stuff to some stuff to sell to the arms guy. Yeah, yeah. So, somebody, somebody has started rubbing off a little bit. I mean, for serious. going to happen. I wasn't expecting this. Oh. Um. The what? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Alright, I, I may, I may have to do a crude check-in definitely. Uh, dude. to wish they'd tell you. Alright, never mind. What just happened? I thought I just saw... I thought I just saw, um... Goto deep-fry the little droid. Hi, T3. I really need you like Java. Directly underfoot. All right, I'll definitely have to do a crew check-in after this. Uh, let me let me get the last little questicle, and we'll we'll start off. Um, we'll we'll start off um, next week with a crew check-in. Although I I'll probably have leveled everybody by then. No, not Corvon. There we go. Mini quest. Dramatic flights. And away we go. I mean, I kind of I kind of like these animated bits that they do in between going from planet to planet, but uh, I kind of I wish they were skippable or something you could turn off. Because uh, they're fun the first time, but about, you know, the eighth time you head to Narshada and you see this. Uh, I could, I could do without. And for the person who worked on them, they were really, really cool. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Uh, oh, and before I forget, uh, yeah, no, there's no, there's no way to to skip out of that, unfortunately. All right, so there's an unknown force power that I haven't learned yet, and I don't, 
don't know where that one comes from. And same with that one there. So there are two, two unknown force powers that I'll have to pick up eventually, somehow. I think they're through finishing the, the quest line with, um, with, uh, each of the companions, but I, I don't, I don't recall for sure. And I will level her up too. Um, just before, before I call it a night, I want to run over and finish up that one little quest on the trade routes. And then I'll spend the time between streams getting, uh, getting everybody's equipment checked out and all that. Come on, Gita. Where's your... Where's your... Where are you? There you are. Your path returns here, and I am thankful. How may I assist you today? Uh, I want to talk to you about establishing trade routes. Let me know if you make progress towards establishing a new market. Oh, I got news for you. I already settled the problems on Dantooine. If you want to travel there to trade, you can. That is good news indeed. I have heard there are many opportunities to be found there. Thank you for your intervention. <laughs> oh, it was an intervention, all right. And Onderon is chaos, but you might trade with the Mandalorians. Okay, there we go. I'm actually kind of surprised I couldn't do the Mandalorian turn-in beforehand. All right. Um, hey. Aren't you supposed to give me a discount on stuff now? Um. Okay. Alright, let's see what you have then. Mm. Alright. Those aren't bad robes. But not worth what I got. Yeah. Uh ooh. Oh wait, no 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 no. I, I got the I got better armor than that that has a defense bonus of four and some other bonuses. Although that gives you persuade and charisma, but not worth it. Um I'm not Okay, that, that might actually be worth a, a second look. I can even afford it now too. Oh wait, no, I've got two in inventory. Why am I even looking at no, no, no. Um Defense 2... Eh. No, nope, I've already got one of those. Ah, oh, I should have waited to buy it here. I, I, I wish I'd known. Okay. Uh, an Ibari crystal... Eh. Mm, I could give somebody a silver silver lightsaber. All right, no means armband. Plus one versus the dark side. Yeah. Immunity belt, stealth field generator. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is another one of those little bonus side thingies with the HK protocol protocol pacifist package. You can only get this out of her shop once you complete the expanding the trade routes thing. So uh, I, I will, as part of the crew check-in that we start off next live stream with, uh, I'm totally, totally going to do that. And yeah, I, I think everything else I can either make cheaper or it's not, it's not worth it. Uh... And I'll probably break some stuff down and... I don't know. I'll figure things... I'll figure life out from there. But that's still not bad. Alright. Let me go ahead and do one last save. And, uh... Where I'm gonna, this is where I'm gonna go. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, 
You can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.